Hey friends, you are Crafting with Kim Byers and today I'm taking you into Cricut Design Space and I'm going to teach you how to use the slice tool. So the slice tool is really simple but it's super powerful, especially if you love to personalize things, monogram things, all of that kind of thing. I'm Southern and so we tend to do that to almost everything. <laughs> but it has a lot of uses. So let's hop over, I'll quickly show you how to use this. And by the way, I am creating 10 different Easter crafts. And so when I was working through Cricut Design Space and, and I just was working with the slice tool and I got to thinking about you know sharing this with you guys. And so in another couple of days, I'm gonna post my 10 Easter crafts. So I would love for you to come back and check out that video when it's live. Um, and so if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And I am gonna put a link up above to all my other Cricut Design Space tutorials. So if you are new to Cricut or if you just need a refresher, make sure and check out some of those videos. And by the way, guys, I always love to hear from you. I personally answer all the comments. So if you feel like it, I would love for you to hop down and talk to me. Um, and if you don't wanna type in anything a thumbs up just letting me know you were here works too okay guys let's go okay so here we are in Cricut Design Space and so we are going to walk through four different ideas for the slice tool so this is again an easy tool within Cricut Design Space but a very very powerful one so I have four different bunnies um, because I'm doing these Easter projects I thought I'll stick with one you know type of image and then I'll show you how to work with each one of those so we have a single cut single color bunny Next, we have a multiple color, multiple cut bunny, but it still has a very large area. For the third bunny, we have multiple colors and multiple cuts and no large areas. So there's lots of little tiny things going on here. Beautiful, but a little more complex. And then finally for our fourth bunny, we have another single cut, single color, but what we're going to do is we are going to knock out something um, or slice out something from it that is much more intricate. So we're going to slice out lettering. Okay, starting with our very first bunny, the, the most basic of shapes, what we're going to do is we are going to knock a line out of that bunny and then we are going to be able to write on the inside. So we're gonna use the slice tool to make this line. So all you need to do is go over into shapes and you can choose any shape you want for this. I want something long and thin. So we're going to use this particular shape and I'm just gonna turn it on its side. Now make sure that you get it, um, line it up with one of the grids just to make sure that you get it even. Um, and if you pull it back a little bit, you're gonna see this lock tool. We're gonna to unlock that and then we're going to pull it down and you can make this as large or small as you want to. I may make it a little bit larger and then I'm just going to make sure that it's over the area that I want to knock out. So then what you need to do is you use um, your layers panel and you click on the bunny and then you can, oops, and you look at this, you can see by my grid that it's not perfectly straight. So let's fix that. <laughs> that would not be good. Okay, so we click on the bunny, we use our shift key and we click on that arrow. Then you go down to slice and we slice that out. It flashes you see how it flashed and so then you can click on this top layer and delete that and now you're like oh wow it looks like a stripe if you look over into layers you see that there is a basic cut there so I'm just going to delete that basic cut and then I'm also going to delete this cut so basically what it does is it doesn't delete everything immediately it simply cuts everything into pieces and then it's up to you to remove the elements that you don't want so now I have this nice open area here to add a name. Very fun, right? Okay, so for the next bunny, for bunny number two, which is multiple colors with a large area, we're going to take that bunny and then we can go over into shapes again and you can do the same type of shape. You could do hearts, you could do scallops, you could do anything. For the ease of today, I'm just going to choose a circle. We're just going to make this super easy. I'm going to pull that over the top of my bunny and then you can make that as large or as small as you want. And so I'm gonna have a fairly large, okay. So now I'm going to grab my bunny and I'm gonna grab my circle and I go down to slice tool and it's gray. Why is it gray? 
Okay, so this is something that gets a lot of people confused when they're using the slice tool. The slice tool will only work when you have two layers highlighted. So if you have clicked on your bunny, which is grouped, you know, I brought it in from Cricut Design Space, so it's grouped, um, you need to click off of it, go over into your layers panel. Let's just make sure I'm in the right, in the right bunnies. Okay, so I am. So this is my bunny. So when I'm clicking on this particular cut, you see that I'm not clicking on the flowers. And then I want to only go and click on that circle that I created. So it's all the way back up at the top. So use your shift key and just click on that circle. Okay, so those are the only two things. Now when you look at your slice tool, it's available because you only have two things highlighted. So we hit slice, it blinks, and so now they're in pieces. So I can click on that black slice that I did, delete that. I can click on this coral slice and delete that. And I'm left with a very darling bunny with a hole in it. And so then you can go in um, and grab text and, and make a little monogram. There's even some monograms um, in images. So if you go in and you search for monogram, it'll pop up different fonts that they have that are very, you know, or monogram. Um, these are just some I made uh, using Barn Acre, Barn Acre. Um, and this font is Honey Syrup. Isn't that cute? Okay, so for our third bunny, our third little tutorial, this one gets a little bit more complex because we don't have any large areas. We have tons of color and we have tons of cuts. And so what we're going to do is a little bit of the same thing. We're gonna go into shapes. I'm gonna go down and grab that same one that I had before. I'm gonna pull him over, turn him on his side. Again, putting him, I'm gonna put him on a line just to make sure that I get him good and even. Okay, and so then I can unlock it and make it as large or as small as I want it to be. Okay, so I'll move this over the top of my bunny. I want to make it just a little bit longer. There we go. A little bit further down, and I'm going to make it just a little bit taller. I really like this font. By the way, this is Fresh Brew. Um, I really like that font. Okay, so we're going to pull that right here. There we go. Okay, so the difference now is that because I have multiple layers underneath this shape, I cannot click on my bunny and click on this shape and then cut. My slice tool is not going to show up. So what I have to do is I click on my little bunny guy here, and so I'm going to have to go color by color. And what I also want to do is I need the exact same size of this each and every time. So I just locked it back and now I'm going to duplicate it. So it's over the top of three different colors. So I'm going to make three of these. I'm going to move these two out of the way. And then I'm going to click on my bunny and I will start with purple for ease of sake. I'm going to click on this little guy and then I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to look for my bunny, which is right here and I'm going to select purple. So now I only have two things highlighted. I have this shape and I have just the purple flowers. So see my slice tool is there. So I'm gonna select slice. It blinks. Okay, so then I'm going to delete that top one. I'm going to delete these. And then you see these guys are separate. So now what we wanna do is we want to move um, this over top of that same exact area and I'm using my pink flowers here. I know I have a little showing on each side. And so now I have this highlighted. I wanna go back to that bunny all the way at the bottom and I'm going to select my pink, okay? And so now I'm going to slice, it blinks, delete, delete, and then the slice in here, delete. And so then I would do the same with the green. And so then it would give me this nice open area that I could go in and type in with this fresh brew. I liked this font because it also had knockouts in it already. So that's really cool. I, I'm really loving this design and I'm actually going to uh, make that into something for my sweet little niece. Okay, and so the fourth thing I wanna show you is how to knock out text. So if you have this um, darling little bunny and you want to put something inside of it you want to put a child's name or you want to put happy Easter um, you can do that 
So you would just go over into text and you would type, you know, happy, right? And we would bring happy over. And then what we could do is we could lay it on top of the bunny. And if you wanted to use the curve tool, you know, curve out the word happy, rotate it a bit, move it into the back of the bunny. Um, and then do the same with Easter. Now I manipulated these just a little bit because I wanted the Y to be higher and that kind of thing. So I literally put HAP in a box. And then, so if you click on this, I put HAPP in a box, the Y is in a box by itself, and then EAS and then TER because I wanted them to curve and sort of, you know, move with the shape of the bunny. So once you have that done the way that you want it to be, it's just like before, you're gonna grab both of those you're only clicking on two different things right and then you're going to slice it blinks and then you can just take out happy and so you end up with this darn little bunny it's one cut so you see here it's one cut you can see the grids between the lines and voila Okay, so what did you think? That was really easy to use. You could use it for all sorts of things. You can make any image or any shape into a monogram if you want to, um, and you can also use them to personalize. So I hope the tips on like what kind of images to choose and that kind of thing also helped. And don't forget to hop up and uh, check out all the other videos in this playlist about how to use Cricut Design Space. And as always, if you guys have any questions about what we did today or questions about other things with your Cricut, I would love for you to leave them down below. I would love to help you craft with confidence and enjoy all the things. Okay guys, see you next time.